Hi, my name is Robert Nemroff, and this is my 100th anniversary debate contribution. Um, you might know me because I, from before, because uh, first of all, I'm the lead organizer in this uh, debate, and second of all, I am a co-creator of the Astronomy Picture of the Day at apod.nasa.gov. That's been going on for 25 years now. I'm also a professor of physics. You might not know I'm a professor of physics at Michigan Technology University and investigating strange things like laser spots moving faster than light. So uh, one thing about this debate is that, um, oh, oh my God. Um, I did that, that we're not on Mars. So this is uh, from the Curiosity rover. And uh, so I think uh, Mars is probably the most likely place that humanity will first discover life. Uh, I believe life is very common in the universe. Uh, Mars is pretty cool. It's uh, mostly a desert, but uh, we've been investigating it for the past long while, 20 years, more than that, um, 30 years, 40 years. And uh, we have some idea as to where to look on Mars and where not to look on Mars. We have a lot of experience. We're also going to be sending more spacecraft to Mars. And uh, we might share a common ancestor with Martians if we were to find fossils of life on Mars. That would be really cool. That maybe life in the solar system went back and forth. Don't know that for a fact, but that could be coming out. Um, there's many places in the universe that uh, could be cool to find. It's Carina Nebula. Uh, many places in the universe where life might be found. Uh, exoplanets, planets orbiting other stars. We might hear uh, signals from long dead civilizations or something like that. We live in a golden age of exploration where we're exploring more of the universe, uh, both in the solar system and out of the universe than ever before. Last, I'd like to say thank you for tuning into this debate and for your interest in science and curiosity about science in general. It's your curiosity that helps drive all of science and all this discovery age, this golden age that we're in now. So thank you.